All right, well, if you've got questions about the correct way to treat your neighbors, we're answering those this morning with Neighbor Etiquette with Diane Gotsman. Thanks so much for coming in. It's so fun to chat about this because, of course, all of us have, you know, personal experiences and questions and things we want to yep. share about our neighbors, like I'm sure many of you at home do as well. That's right. And, and because of that, we have some great questions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let's start off. First of all, uh, here's one of our questions. My neighbor parks his car in front of my home, and it blocks the walkway and the view of my holiday decorations. Aww. Is there anything I can do to keep him off my property? Well, it's not really so your property. It's not right? really your property. So he says it, or she, it blocks the walkway. Mm -hmm. And if it blocks mm -hmm. the driveway, then you can do something about it. Okay. But if it's blocking your walkway or the neighbor or the decorations, the Christmas decorations, I know. Mm -hmm. It's just unfortunate. Yes. I mean, you know, yeah, you know, you certainly okay can say. You just be passive aggressive and leave something there. Like, you know, I, I'm something. not going to say passive like aggressive. Something in the street, a cone. You put <laughs> no, a cone. You don't put a <laughs> cone. That's just going to make him mad. But you can say, you know, would you mind parking just a little further up or back? Now, they no, can no. or cannot, you know, they may or may not yeah, do it. We but all know parking can be an issue in the If, if you yes. want to be a jerk, call HOA and say, hey, they're parking oh. on the street. They're not supposed to. Can you come take care of this? So if they're not supposed to, yes. If you're not supposed to, it's yeah, a different we have story. A rule, HOA, yeah. You do? Yes. So see, there yes. you go. But I didn't. Safety they parked net. in front of my house. I didn't call anybody. Oh. Okay, good. So if you. someone towed your car, it wasn't me. <laughs> okay. Uh, number two here, we were laughing about this question. I have a neighbor who continuously puts bag up poop in my trash can. My trash can sits up on my garage. I don't have an animal, so I don't know if this is an accepted practice. <laughs> okay, so I called Austin Police Department because uh -huh. I've, oh. you know, Okay. Inquiring minds really need to know, and I think that it sounds pretty nasty to me. You know, as a protocol, I don't, I don't like the idea of a neighbor t or a stranger even mm -hmm. tossing poop into a can. Yeah. However, the the rule is if it's on the if it's on the street, uh -huh. it's it's free domain. Okay, Go so ahead. If you've you set can out do your it. trash can to be picked up that day yes. or whatnot. You can if place it's on the it if it's on what about a public tent? property. If it's on, according to this person, if it's on their property up by their house, that's a different story. No, that's no. trespassing. Yeah. What about so, if it's empty? So if, if it's the trash empty, can's empty, it was just taken out. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. You know, well, I mean, I guess legally it's allowed if it's, if it's on, on the street, street but you can do it. Otherwise, maybe you should refrain so the, I, because that's pretty gross. That's right. That's right. And then, you know, make sure the bag is intact. And it's not ripped. There's all kinds of things wrong with this story. Yeah. Okay. Just dump it's it on their yard for fertilizer? No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, that's a no-no. That? Yeah, that's a no-no too. Okay. When you dump it in front of in a in a paper bag in the well, and then light it on the fire. fire. In the do what? Yeah. By the tire? No, 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 no. Light it on fire with the door or the, the door. End. Diane's like, what? So I <laughs> think don't, here's don't the don't answer. <laughs> the don't answer is of poop if anywhere. it's on public property, you can actually put it in. <laughs> yeah. If it's by someone's home, you should not. Yeah. How about you hold okay. on to it? <laughs> we could go on and on. Yeah, this is a big one. Okay, next question. How do I deal with a neighbor who's always asking to borrow a bag of flour, a wrench, a roll of toilet paper, and then promises to bring something back or Reimburse me. This reminds me. I of, always think this of this. reminds me of Kramer from Seinfeld. Oh yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. This is like never happened to me. It's never like, happened to you. Never happened no. to me either. Just I just had a girlfriend come get two eggs for me last week. Yeah. So uh -huh. you know, down the street. Okay, so whether it's happened or not, it may happen. And I think that if it happens all the time and it becomes a problem, you have to learn how to politely say no. I'm not going to say no to a girlfriend who needs a couple of eggs. You know, if yeah. I have them. But I think that if it's become a habit, you have to be able to say, you know, I need those. Two Two last eggs for my son's omelet tomorrow morning, or you know the ranch you want to borrow. You borrowed two weeks ago and you haven't brought it back yet. So you do Can it. You, you really do it politely. Yes, yes. I want my ranch yes. back. Well, you know you you have my ranch. I just so feel really bad. Like, <laughs> can you give my ranch back? Like, I can't go out there and buy you know more ranch. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. We have every yeah, story of a man in our house. It so. might be a special wrench, you know. You've so gone I through think, all the things with it. I think you're polite. If you can do it and you want to do it, do it. But yeah. if you can't have it, if you don't do it, if you're tired of them, you asking, you can just yeah. say, I, gosh, I just ran And out. if you're the one who borrows, reimburse. Return Return us. Right. Yes, yes. be courteous. Yeah. Yeah. Or we're not going to answer the door. <laughs> Everybody exactly. hide. Hide. Yeah. Through through the window and hide. hide. <laughs> My neighbor has two barking dogs that bark nonstop during the day. 
How can we complain about this constant noise and still remain friends? Well, you know, I think it's during the day, there's barking dogs. What's happening with the dogs? Are they bored? Are they hungry? Are they, you know, what? I think we should, the neighbors should go to the next door neighbor mm -hmm. and say, your dogs are barking all day yeah. long. You know, are they, are they do okay? they need, they okay? yeah, are they okay? That's kind of a little prompt that they're bothering yeah. you. Right. But I do think that if you're in a neighbor, if you're in an apartment, you can talk to the apartment manager, you can talk to the neighbor, and you know, there is noise, noise ordinances. Yeah. I don't know if that falls under noise mm -hmm. ordinances, but you know, just like lights, sounds, all kinds of things. You, yeah. All right, we have another question. The smell of our neighbor's bacon reeks in our hallway oh, smells, every morning. I love that smell. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yummy. Uh, when we leave for work, now my wife is pregnant. Oh, can't read the rest. It's but, right there. Oh, okay. All right, and it makes her feel sick, her. and I feel like I show up to my office smelling like a pig. <laughs> Should I say something to my neighbor? So, you know, I oh. do know when Cooking you cook bacon, bacon, it gets in your hair and it gets in your clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except that we're, she, what, if, what if it was roast that made her sick or popcorn that yeah. made her sick? So I think that you're living in an apartment. I talk to the apartment manager about the ventilation. Are, so are they really yeah. going to go knock on the door? Yeah. I don't know if that's something you can I think have. you need to be yeah. polite. Yep. Good neighbor and talk to the apartment manager. Okay. It's all about kindness. All right, keep those questions coming. <laughs> we love smile. it. Diane, With a smile. thank you so much for coming in. Thank you.